the Tesla Model X has ruled the high-end electric SUV market since it hit the road. This is mostly because it created the high-end electric SUV market. I'm here in Portimao, Portugal to drive the new Jaguar I-Pace. Now, usually on these trips, I get on the freeway, maybe do some back road driving, maybe drive through town. Today, I'm gonna to be going off-road, over some mountains, through some water, and on this track. The Jaguar I-Pace starting at $70,000 didn't exactly come out of nowhere, but it was a surprise that the first real Model X Challenger wasn't from Audi, Mercedes, or BMW. This slick crossover goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tesla SUV and even raises the bar for other luxury vehicles. It's as refined as you would expect from the British automaker, but also capable of taking on off-road adventures and holding its own as it whips around corners. It's like a dapper British gentleman that happens to be a black belt in karate. Oh, and it's fast. With a 0-60 to 60 of 4.5 seconds thanks to two motors pushing out a combined 394 horsepower and 512 pounds of torque, it'll deliver the goods on freeway on-ramps. That power combined with admirable handling from a small but heavy SUV made navigating the mountain passes of Portugal a delight. The vehicle balances top-notch cornering with a smooth, comfortable ride. Nowhere was that more pronounced than on a racetrack in Portugal. Typically, I have to test vehicles on public roads where the laws and traffic govern how much I can push a car. On the track, the I-Pace surprised me. It handled transitions between corners with grace, and the brakes did a wonderful job taming all that battery weight while it was traveling at a top speed of 124 miles an hour and brought it down to a more manageable speed ahead of turns. In other words, I didn't go flying off the track. Going fast and cornering well is great, but the I-Pace inherited some skills from sister company Land Rover and is a legit off-road SUV. After driving through about two feet of water, the car handled a steep incline with no problem. It even has a cruise control type setting that allows you to set the car to a very low speed and handle the rough terrain while you steer. It was impressive and unexpected from a Jaguar. In the real world though, people care more about range than track times and scaling large mountains. The I-Pace delivers on that end as well, with up to 240 miles between charges thanks to a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack. It ships with DC fast charging standard, and if you're lucky enough to find a 100 kilowatt hour station, it'll go from 0 to 80% in about 40 minutes. At home charging via a 230 volt outlet, it takes about 10 hours to get to 80% and nearly 13 hours to get all the way to 100%. Inside the interior is reminiscent of the rest of the Jaguar lineup, with a clean layout and the same dual screens found in the Range Rover Velar. The automaker's Touch Pro Duo infotainment system has been updated for the car and includes new features like an AI-determined battery status for waypoints and destinations based on driving style, the roads, and weather. One piece of exciting news is that the iPace supports CarPlay and Android Auto. The system also had a bit less latency than the Velar we tested back in January, but there were a few times when a tap took almost about a second to register. One thing that has been updated over the Velar interior are the climate dials. It's easier to determine what you're doing, whether it be changing the temperature, turning on the chair heaters or coolers, or adjusting a fan. It's a small thing, but it's important when you're dropping $70,000 on the entry trim level for this car. A lot of what makes the I-Pace great is it seems to be what Jaguar has learned both from its own history of luxury cars with an aggressive edge and Land Rover's off-road pedigree. Throw in its impressive EV powertrain, and the British automaker looks like it has a winner on its hands when it hits U.S. shores in September. After two days behind the wheel of the I-Pace in water, up a hill, on gravel, on a track, on highways, back roads, through small towns, everywhere I took this car, it handled admirably. And the high-end luxury SUV electric vehicle, that's a very small market. And right now its only competitor is the Tesla Model X. And frankly, I'd go with the Jaguar.